Good afternoon, everybody. Surging glaciers. Arctic temperatures almost back to the 30-year mean. France, Italy, Slovenia, parts of Austria go from spring to snow cover in just a day. 20 centimeters, almost a foot. 40 centimeters, over a foot. A lot of snow up there. And then we look at the ski resorts in Italy. 110 centimeters, that's three and a half feet. And this video is brought to you by True Leaf Market, Heirloom and Organic Seeds. You can find the link below in the description box as well as all the other links to tonight's video. First image is coming off the Newswire Surging Glaciers. This is in the Tuna Breen area, Svalbard. I've linked to the movie so you can watch how this glacier is actually moving. Really incredible to see the time-lapse photos and watching this thing move. Staying up in the Arctic region, we've been told it's a heat wave of all heat waves. But here we are back to the 30-year baseline again. That green line is the 30-year mean average from 1969 to 2002. So it means the Arctic temperatures are right back to where they should be. Now jumping on to the most interesting anomalies of the day, area here in France, as you can see, it's widened out. It's a little bit south and west of Lyon. Snow, southern France. So I thought, how much snow really was there? Was it a dusting, a few flurries? So let's take a look at the snow totals. I'll let you make your own opinion and judgment on this. Spring had arrived and it ended in a single day as well. So temperatures in the morning were such as you see on the left and by the evening the snow was falling. It started on May 13th and then rolled through the 15th and 16th. Now 20 centimeters for those of you in the US is around eight inches or so. 30 centimeters is a full foot. You can see the accumulations coming down here. These regions are also in the lower Alps. Understood that they might still get snow, but Al Gore told us they would never see snow again. But here we are, 40 centimeters. Now, I just want you to look at the car for a second here. And do you think this is a lot of snow just a week and a half before June? So I went over to the French ski resort at J2 Ski to check out the forecast and the seven day snow totals. Sure enough, 75 centimeters. That's two and a half feet and all the other areas around these snowfall totals that you're seeing on Twitter the exact same thing up to two feet foot and a half road clearing going on this is from the French government's road clearing division up there more images coming out Ardeche region or district as they call it. This seems to be some of the heaviest snowfalls up there. Beautiful villages. Would like to visit that. Those towns. Haute Lori. What's that? 40 centimeters there with the measurement stick. Also Switzerland receiving some snows. Austria receiving some snows. And let's jump right up to where I showed the border of Austria and Italy. You have to realize what you're seeing on the map in Lyon and Geneva and Switzerland all the way over to where that dot is. That's a thousand miles long almost of just pure snow cover coming down at this depth. Now we're up into the Dolomites, northern Italy, Croatia also getting a few flurries. They had huge hailstorms there as well during this event. Heavy snowfalls. I know it's at 2100 meters, about 6,500 feet or so. But still, this is very unusual for the depths of the snow coming down. Heavy, incredible snowfalls May 15th through the 16th. Apparently, you have to go back to 1949 to find something similar to these totals in these same areas. So if it's back to 49 again, and this is not CO2 driven, and there was not so much CO2 in 1949, it must mean it's a natural cycle. Bon dimanche. 
and then to cross verify did these snow totals really come down in these same areas j2 ski again let's take a look at the italian ski resort seven day this is at 110 centimeters that's three and a half feet and you'll see some of the lowest totals are there are just below a foot Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. This was sent to me through the inbox here at Adapt2030 at oilseedcrops.org. I so appreciate the tip on that for the French snows. The Grand Solar Minimum is definitely intensifying.